do it right now. So uh, my name is Anish Chaganti. I uh, uh, made a movie called Searching and a movie called Run, mostly here because I'm a friend of Sean Wong. So uh, to just kick it off, I'm just going to introduce the filmmaker and two of the stars here. So please welcome Sean Wong, writer, director. Come on up. three times. I love it. I uh, wanted to start off by saying, asking about the squirrel. Um, oh, hi. It's good. Um, okay, uh, I know a lot of this is autobiographical in a way, but not fully. We know that. Like, But is the squirrel story true, and how true is it? <laughs> well, first of all, thank you guys for saying. I hope you liked it. Um, Woo! it I don't know. It's, it's changed so much by the time it hit the screen. There's some nugget of Sure. Sure. Maybe something involving roadkill and okay. a drink, but nothing to that extent. <laughs> okay, copy that. Um, I'm gonna ask you, Isaac a uh, question for you. Um, you obviously didn't live through like the 08s the way or 08 the way Sean did, um, but you look and you feel like me growing up in the Bay around that time. The way you use flip phones, the way you use tech. Like, what was the induction to the tech of the internet world um, of 08 for you shooting this movie? Yeah, I mean, most of the um, like MySpace stuff and like Facebook and most of the stuff on the computer really was done on uh, post, uh, done in sorry post production. Um, the only thing that I really had to learn was how to use a flip phone. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go well. <laughs> Absolute horrid. Okay. You guys allowed to like, do the T9 oh, stuff? Oh, dude, no, I can't. I can't T9 for the life of me. Okay. <laughs> if I want to get to L, I have to click L three times. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> seven. Yeah. So that's a number. And like, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joan, uh, I think the well, actually, I'll do that with questions later. First question is. You know, I, the last film that I directed, there was two, it was a two-hander, and one of the actresses in it was this, like, was Sarah Paulson, who's such a, such a talented actress, and across from her is somebody who had never been in a feature before, you know? And that really changed the dynamic of the set, how your, how Sarah was taking things in, how she was behaving, how she was, you know, coaching, teaching, but I'm sure you've got a lot of questions about what you taught, Isaac, but, you're also acting across a teenager who maybe hasn't done this before. Are there things that you learned from from being across from somebody who this is kind of the first time? Well, he's not a first time actor. He's a, an experienced actor. He's he's done it for eight years. Um, Basically, first time. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first feature, though, no? This is my uh, first lead. First, first lead. lead. First okay. Yeah, yeah, he's first. Okay, lead. so you're a pro then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But grandma was. I wouldn't say yeah. pro. Yeah. I mean, grandma wasn't. Okay. Grandma wasn't. Grandma was a pro. Not me. <laughs> that was my grandma, by the way. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Uh, Sean was nominated for an Oscar earlier this year for a film also starring grandma. 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 <laughs> um, okay, well, then, what was the relationship between you, like, between you guys, and how did you guys find that, like, Mom son sort of relationship. Did you guys rehearse? Did you guys spend a lot of time before set working together, off set? Actually, you know, they filmed about what, about 10 days, two weeks before I landed on the set. And um, I came back from China and came to the set. Um, they were kind of warmed up and uh, filmed a lot of their kids' stuff already. And I landed on the set and um, I think you had to switch something, so I had to do the um, a very emotionally important scene first, first day. Um, but scene after, was, which scene was that? It's the scene that we shouted at each other in the car. That was your first day. 
That was my first day. Yeah. <laughs> so we um, we didn't really rehearse all that much. I wanted to rehearse. I'm like, hey, let's rehearse. But he. That's my fault. <laughs> I remember it was you landed and uh, and he, they hadn't met yet and Isaac goes to her show we go and he goes, Yo, what, what's your name? <laughs> so I go, Yo, I go, Yo, cool, you're playing my mom. <laughs> remember what I said about me not being a professional? <laughs> but it was awesome just I I could sense that something in our production was about to change because Isaac doesn't like to rehearse. Not at any, you know, every actor has their own sure. process. And and Joan really loves to rehearse. And I think not rehearsing for Isaac in those first 10 days was actually probably good because we surround him with first time non actors. Yeah. Every day of those first 10 days were like set pieces with non actors. And so he just kind of shed all of the training that he kind of had. And it was like, don't be an actor, be a kid. And then Joan stepped on set and she was like, okay, let's rehearse. And for the, like, normally when I was like, let's rehearse, Isaac was like, <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's just this process. And then Joe was like, let's rehearse. And he was like, yep, let's do it. <laughs> and I was like, All right. <laughs> so you guys kind of started that process. Like, it didn't work out in the first scene immediately, but then that you guys started to rehearse a little bit more over the course of the, the scenes that you guys had together. You know, when we first met, it just felt like it's not that hard. Yeah. Okay. That, that I sure. felt like I could treat him like one of my kids. Yeah. You know, it, it wasn't hard. I think in the casting process, the director, the producers, the casting directors, they put a family together that really felt like a family. And I, some of the chemistry you see on screen, even if you try for the whole year to try to cultivate it, it may not be there. You know, it's there or it's not there. And I felt we, we had it, and so it, it wasn't something to to worry about. Um, so that after that day, then I was initiated into the yeah. action. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and uh, when Jean first told me that um, he was going to cast uh, his own grandmother for the part, I was slightly concerned. Oh. Yeah, I was like, I remember, like, you're like, who's playing? And I go, um. As it was this very you know popular Taiwanese actress that we were considering, or my grandma. Um, and we were talking to her, and she goes, "Oh, I love her. She's amazing. I worked with her before. She'd be amazing." I was like, "Yeah, probably either her or my grandma." And John, and John goes, oh. <laughs> and then, and then when I think we officially casted you, and you're like, "Oh, so who's playing Nai Nai? Is it her?" I was like, "Um, my grandma." <laughs> And I thought it was a touch of genius, really. Um, you know, it made it so unique. This family, it's so hard to find another actress like um, Shan's grandpa. Just, uh, really, it's so brave and so courageous a choice that you are risking your whole career on it. <laughs> 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 Well, you were also risking your career on me. So <laughs> um, I have to say, you know, Sean's grandmother came so prepared. You know, repeatedly um, reciting the lines, and Sean's mom was helping her, and just really hardworking actress. Um, yeah, we had our first rehearsal in the backyard. Um, and I felt instantly fine. She's gonna be great. Yeah. We read a scene in Joan. This will be up to about my grandma, but we read a scene and I was like, okay, I think I'm well. And then I, came, I felt the hand on my shoulder. And Joan, she goes, she goes, you have nothing to worry about. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then Joan walked away, and I was like, all right, but we should keep rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grandma. What is up here? This is another funny story about grandma. Is that uh, the scene where? She like fell in the backyard. Yeah. Um, we we filmed five takes, and it was like you know it was coming after the skate scene, so it was all sunny and beautiful, and then it was gloomy, and it just made no sense. And I'm like, okay, well that's that's that's, that's filmmaking. You just have to roll with it. And then uh, and then the sun came out, and it was like me and Sam, our DP, were like, oh this is, this looks beautiful, perfect. And my producers were like, Sean, come here, we're going up, what's up? We're not, we're a little uncomfortable. 
doing the tape again because we're worried about your grandma's health. Um, you know, she looks very frail and fragile. We don't want to put her on the floor again. And I was like, I, I, I know my grandma. I think she can do it. Like, I, and they're like, no, like, it's, well, like, I, we don't think you should. Like, we're not very comfortable with it. And I was like, let me just go talk to her. So I'm like, well, well like, um, how are, you, are you feeling okay? Or she's like, yeah, so are we going again? And I was like, yeah, we're just a little worried about your, your health. Like, we don't want to put you on the floor. It looks like you're, you know, a little weak. So we're kind of worried about, you know, just making you do it again. And she was like, well, the, the scene is calling for me to be weak, no? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, yes, um, but I'm just worried that, like, we're making you do it over and over again. Like, why is it just, like, 20 hours I'm, I'm supposed to be, like, like, that's what you want from me, right, in the scene, to, like, be frail and fragile. And I was like, oh, well, yeah. She's like, so that's what I'm doing, what's wrong? And I was like, I'm... all right, let's go again. See what you um, Joan just alluded to this. You guys obviously shot for like pizza downs on like ten days with just kind of the, the kids before Joan came in. I wanted to talk about how you kind of got the kind of style that you were able to do. You know, like what you're doing here is something I could never even try. I mean, it's just such a slice of life. Everything, every shot feels so real. Like the kids, all the interactions between them, it just feels like I was at that party. I've been there. I know that guy. You know, it, it, how did you? When you're working with, with actors who are under a certain age, you already are limited by the amount of time that you have on set with each of them, right? Like, how are you creating the environment to get some, what feels like very, very slice of life performances? You know, are you like just letting cameras roll over and over again? Like, how, how did you create that? Because it's so, it feels so real. I mean, thank you. I mean, that was, that was the hope, you know, to try to make something that really just felt like this really authentic. And I think, you know, the kids improv a lot, but they also like did their homework. You know, I think they really knew their lines and there's like hundreds of tapes of me improving with these fourteen year olds over the course of months and it was kind of that once we kinda of saw something in a kid, you know, you know, like Isaac or Aaron who plays Sue, Raul who plays Bahad, I was like, I think I wanna just give them permission to make it their own. And so I think once we saw that there was something special in them and just the casting process, it was like, okay, obviously like walking into a film audition as a kid is a nerve wracking thing. And it was like, okay, just getting them comfortable, getting them comfortable. And after like two or three auditions or callbacks with each of the kids that we cast, I could just tell they were like comfortable with me now. And once they got comfortable with me, it was just like, I'm your friend, you're riffing with me. And I was like, this riff feels alive. And I was like, if we can get this on set, we're solid, whatever this energy is. And then they got to set and be like, well, what are these trucks? And like, yeah. like, this is not Zoom, but it was just like, dude, forget about all this. This is, it's like, just do what we did on Zoom. Like, that's the energy. And I think we, I think it was really, really, really important to me. You were doing all of those early conversations on Zoom? Yeah, we did all like- And Zoom. you were feeling like, hey, this energy is right on yeah, Zoom. Yeah, on Zoom, like wow. the chemistry reads with the three boys. And I, it was just like, okay, this, this, this is great. And if we can translate this to, you know, use the bells and whistles of filmmaking and you know cinematography and just make this come to life, this just this energy I can feel through a computer yeah. screen, I'm like, we're gonna be okay. And so I think we kind of, you know, both selfishly and selflessly, um, I was like, I we need this set to feel fun. Like we really went out of our way to try and make this feel like a summer camp. We hosted a talent show, we, we did like dress up days. And it was kind of, you know, I, I kind of, I was like, okay, these kids are spending a month of their summer in like one of the most formative years of their life. And none of them have ever considered acting, except, you know, this guy. <laughs> I, I think, you know, like, you know, I was, whether our movie was good or bad, I was like, I, I need them to have a good experience. Like, it would feel shitty, ethically bad to just kind of rope these kids in and then to be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it was like waste of a summer, you know? Um, but it was just like, I, it's, it's really important to us that like these kids have a good time. And like, you know, a year from now, 10 years from now, they can look back at this experience, whether the movie succeeds or fails, and be like, whoa, like that was super fun. We had a lot of really cool people. We got to be in a movie. Yeah. Um, but also self selfishly, I was like, if they're having fun, I think their performances are just gonna be amazing. So we just kind of, we spent money and resources and time on our indie budget to like get a churro machine and shaved ice and you know speakers and host a talent show and 
just kind of let them be kids and have the space to play. And I think that really brought a lot of the energy to the As did you have fun? <laughs> I had a blast. Um, <laughs> speaking of the Zoom calls, <laughs> but speaking about those Zoom calls, there's this, uh, this is one time where, it was, I don't know, it was one of the callbacks, but Sean made us watch this video. Um, and it was apparently a really funny video. He's like, all right, I'm gonna have you guys watch this video, and I want you guys to, to, to react like as you would in character. And we're like, all right, bet, you know? And so Sean comes off his camera, he goes on mute, he's like watching us. And it's just like this five minute long video of this cockroach on a wall. And there's no audio. There's <laughs> a cockroach on the wall. And then it just suddenly dies. <laughs> so we don't, we're like, we don't know how to fucking react to this because it's a silent cockroach on a fucking wall. <laughs> so, what the fuck am I supposed to say? And apparently there's supposed to be audio about this dude talking about how gross his cockroach was. But we literally couldn't hear anything. It was just five minutes of a silent cockroach. <laughs> and it's like, so we didn't have, you know, Normally, if you're, okay, there's three kids pulling that on Zoom, and hopefully you get a week with them before, and our schedules were all over the place, so, you know, it was, you know, normally it was like, okay, let's come, we'll have a pizza party, you can hang out and make memories together, but we didn't have that on this movie, so I was trying to, you know, fabricate that, and so I was like, yeah, so I, I played this video, I screen shared, and on my end, I could hear the audio. <laughs> I, I, you know, went on, I was like, I'm just gonna move this away. I muted myself, turned off the video, but I'm just watching them. It's gonna be great, what's, what's gonna happen? And they're just like. I just was like that's a crazy cockroach. Yeah. <laughs> that's really testing my patience. <laughs> and I was like, I guess. Uh, and I was laughing so hard. I think mean, it's like, it's, it's this video by this YouTuber, Mr. Chai City. He's just like, oh, this cockroach is fucking crazy, I'm gonna kill him. And like, he's just narrating the whole thing. And then, uh, so everyone's like, reaction was just drastically different than what you were expecting. What you were doing. Right, no one laughed. Yeah. I, was like, I was laughing so hard, and, I was, and they were just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then it ended, and I was like, well, okay. So they were like, that was cool. And then I was, and I was like, all right, well, let's try the next thing. And then I just kind of started, I was like, just by, by chance, was there audio on that video you guys were watching? <laughs> they were like, no, it was a silent video of a cockroach. <laughs> they were like looking at a picture of a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, playing some mind game. <laughs> just react to this. I genuinely thought he was like actually testing our patience by making us look at a cockroach. That's going on. Joan, a uh, question about the final scene. Well, the second time, see the one where you're in the bed in the morning and Chris, the character, comes in. Like, I'm, you're so good in that scene. Um, and I wanted to know while I was watching this, I was like, okay, how many takes did they shoot of this? Like, what, like sometimes when you get a, a good, it, it's, you feel the magic on set. Sometimes it's take one, you never want to do it again. But I just wanted to know, like, how many times were you doing that scene um, to get it that way that, like, that felt so great? We did, we did three, and I remember, I, I actually don't know, I'm curious what you think about this. We shot, you know, typically you shoot, you know, master or, yeah. or whatever. We shot her single first of yeah. that because I didn't want her to, you know, waste the, the monologue on And like, you knew it was going to go in close. I knew it was going to go in, like, yeah, like, single and then close. Yeah. Um, so we shot three takes, I think, um, three or four. But it was like two, and they were all amazing. The one you saw with the yeah, from the two shot. But I remember, uh, but yeah, on you. And then I remember we did one take when it was on Isaac's coverage because Isaac doesn't know Chinese, <laughs> so so uh, I was just listening for like cue lines. Yeah, and so I was like, do one version of this monologue in English for him to react. And like, you know, did you cut both of them in together, or like you did? Joan in that, in that, in that uh, when she's talking, she switches moments of time between but no, no, I mean, it was scripted that sometimes, like, she'd be like, oh, Nihan, stop her. And that's yeah, just yeah, like yeah. how my mom would say it. But we did one take, it was just all English, so he could actually know what she okay. was saying. But I think, I mean, all the takes were pretty incredible and usable, and it was like slight modifications. And Joan has no ego as an actress. I remember asking her before we started, I was like, you know, like, what is your process? 
you know, like, what, do you, is there something you need from your director? And she was like, no, I just want it to be good. Like, I don't even mind line readings. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna give Joan Chen line readings. <laughs> but sometimes it was just that, you know, like for that monologue, for example, it was just like pretty perfect. I was like, oh, I felt that. But I think there was a couple of takes where like the sometimes I dream line used to be very weighty. It was like, sometimes I dream. And she was like, let's just try one where it's like, like levity. You know, like, sometimes I dream. You know, like I have dreams too. And it was just like, let's just change that one line. And I think it really gave the monologue a different, different feeling. Um, but it was great. I remember we shot that and I was like, okay, I think about it. And we broke for lunch and then we started staring at 